First Baptist Church Fall Branch is making it possible to take a journey through Bethlehem from December 8th through the 10th. And here to share with us more about this walkthrough experience that tells the true story of Christmas are Pastor Mark Newman and Craig Quillen. Good morning, gentlemen. Well, good morning, Chris. Thank yeah. you for having us here today. I, you know, I briefly mentioned there what Walk Through Bethlehem is. To fill it out for us. Tell us more about it. Well, it is. It is it's an experience that you're going to be able to walk through the town. And you'll be able to mix and mingle with people. There's, there's shops and little marketplace things. You'll be able to walk through the inn and then walk around and then encounter the, uh, the live nativity on the backside of it. Right. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's and beautiful Craig, thing. this has been going on for First, uh, for First Baptist for a long time now. 12 years now. This will be our 12th year doing it. All right. Talk to us about your experience doing this. Oh, it's been a labor of love for uh, for <laughs> quite some time. We it, it's evolved a lot. So people that may have started coming the first time, they've seen a lot of changes. What I'd okay. say. So now we give out something at almost every booth. We have refreshments. Um, we, we, you know, we've got the uh, the animals there, the, the live nativity. It's just awesome. And like we were talking about before the uh, we went on air here, the uh, it takes a lot of time. So we do want right. to the, the it. People really don't understand how much work goes into it. And we just want to thank the people that do the behind the scenes stuff. And, and you get to see that when you walk mm -hmm. through. Right. And people don't, you know, we hide a lot in the dark is what we always like to say, right? Uh, the dark hides a lot, right? But it, it's just amazing what we can pull off at night and, and transform people's time of the, this time of the year, right? right? Where they really get to just see Jesus Christ glorified through just this little simple thing that we do at the back of our church. Right. And we're looking at some pictures right now from past past events here and like you say this is a time to come and immerse yourself in the story of the nativity it is and it's also a time just to slow down because we know right. this time can be so busy for yeah. so many families and you know and I don't think that's what Christmas is supposed to be like mm -hmm. you know as we look at it we look at it this is a time that we are celebrating yes but we're celebrating the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ but come right. and reflect on what God has given us the great the greatest gift that we could ever have asked for and you want people to come and take their time doing Absolutely. it. Exactly. And this is a free event. Yes. I mean, so you can just walk through again. It's it's a free event. There's right. all different type of little knickknacks that you can pick up along the way with this as well. And having the children there, having the live animals, seeing all of that interaction among the folks that are volunteering to do this, it just is truly a community event as well. It is. And we have other churches that are helping yes. us too. We have Harmony and Landmark Baptist that are stepped in to come along, to, along beside of us and partner. And that's one thing that we want to show too is that churches do have a common right. uh, a common bond with each other. A common and message. A common message yeah. as well to share. Yes. So, and that's why we, we, we thank them for coming to be a part of this as well. And, and Craig, I got to ask you, what has been your, over the years, over 12 years, what has been your favorite thing that you've seen change from the beginning to now? <laughs> well, uh, we, we used to have, uh, I'll tell you a story, we used to have these little tents that we'd put up and Mother Nature, the wind doesn't always cooperate, right? right? So now we've got these nice wooden structures and they're, that's what I've loved to see, but truly what we've done towards the very end of it, the thing that's transformed the whole event, we used to end it at the nativity. Right. And because of the birth of our Savior, and then what we started doing, we started thinking about it, we really need to present the gospel. To, to me, the whole reason for, for the baby coming is what ultimately would take place at Calvary and that's that's sort of exactly what we're trying to end it all with right there and that right. to me has been the most magical change that we've done. All right well gentlemen thank you so much for all you're doing. Thank you. And we're going to give everybody the information right now for Journey Through Bethlehem First Baptist Church several other churches involved there as well in Fall Branch December 8th through the 10th this weekend 6 p.m. to 8 30 p.m. each night and it is free the price is right so come on down <laughs> and check out if you need more information on Facebook.